In this video, we're going to perform a VLOOKUP in Google Sheets that returns an entire row of data in one single shot. So you can see here I have a data set of loan records and what we want to do is perform a VLOOKUP based on the search value here for the loan ID in this field and return an entire row of data here. So I have two methods here. The first method is going to involve the match function as our column reference. So just to show you what the match function does by itself, you have a search key, a search range, and a type of search. So in this first method, the headers where we want our results to be must be identical to the headers in the range that we're looking up. So we're going to perform a match on this header value here and for our range we want to search on this first row of headers here lock that down make sure there are dollar signs in front of the column and row references to always point to that range and our search type is going to be zero for an exact match so what the match function does is it returns the relative position of where that search item is found which it returns the first column and then for all these others it returns the correct column of where that's located in that row of headers so that is our dynamic column reference so we're just gonna put that in place of a hard number for our column reference so we have our VLOOKUP we have our search key as our first input which is this cell here we want to hit F4 or put dollar signs in front of the column and row reference to lock that down that means it always points to this cell here so when we drag this across it always stays on this cell so our range is going to be this set of data here again I want to put dollar signs in front of those columns to keep this fixed so it always points to that range our index we just went over is going to be the output of the match function so we want to search based on this value here this header search on this first row of headers lock that down and we want an exact match so we have a zero for the search type and then the final input is whether or not the first column in our data set is sorted. Now I will tell you 99% of the time you're just going to want to go with a value of false or zero here. This will return an exact match regardless. So you can see this returns the first column based on our search value here. When I drag this across, you can see it dynamically fills in all of the other column values. So now for this second method, the scenario is, well, what if you don't have matching headers, but you still want to pull back an entire row in one single shot? Well, instead of the match function, you can use the column function. The column function will return the column number of whatever cell you're currently on so right now I'm in column G which is column 7 so all we need to do here to dynamically get to the row or I'm sorry column we want to get to is subtract 6 from that and do the same for all these other columns to the right and we have another dynamic column reference so we're just going to use that in place of the match. So our lookup value is the same here. We have our range. This time we have the column. We're on column 7 minus 6. That gets us to column 1. And there it is. Well that is all for now, thanks for watching, please remember to subscribe.